So good day everyone. Maz is okay once more here. It's been a it's been a while that uh, I haven't uh, really uh, uh, made any video now, but today I just want I saw something that uh, prompted me to say something to all of us. You know, we all know um, this pastor called uh, Pastor Dumeja or Prophet, as some people might want to refer to him. Um, they call him the lion himself. He's on an onicha based pastor. Um, there's been controversies, you know, as to his last visit to Indonesia, uh, Jakarta to be precise, and the aftermath of what eventually happened. Um, there is rumor that people were arrested, you know, but again, um, I don't think any of those could be linked to him. However, uh, we saw clips where he was, uh, you know, people threw money at him, which has been his uh, trademark, even while in our nature. That's not the crux of the matter why I'm making this video. The reason why I'm making this video is basically um, as a result of what happened in Enugu. Now, the people of Enuguku, uh, in a petition, they've, you know, basically signed by Mr. Samuel uh, Obidibo Okoye, addressed to the traditional culture, um, uh, or rather what they call the traditional prime minister of Enuguku. Enuguku, if you don't know, is an Njikoku local government area of Anambra State. Uh, the, um, you know, people have complained um, about the members of... Uh, uh, Omo Abako uh, Kindred Akama Osili Village Enugoku. Basically, they've asked prominent people of their town, citizens of their town, to task a certain warrior, a member of the village and his associates to return the stolen artifacts to their original site, to the newly constructed Isinri Museum in Enugu. Now, why am I giving us this background is the video you're going to watch is going to explain it all. Now, Pastor Odumeje or Prophet Odumeje, as many people might want to call him, we can see him there basically engaging in some rasmatas, um, shouting up and down, and taking the artifacts of of the ancestors, and we didn't see him. I must not. We didn't see him set them ab ablaze. But normally, the moment they collect such artifacts, they destroy them. They set them ablaze, and this is reason why, Maz is okay. I am angry. We have museums in Nigeria, and there is a museum in Enugu. -Uku. You know. These things ought not to be happening, okay? Because when you see this thing, you think it is a scene from uh, an adaptation of the Chinua Achebe classical novel, The Things Fall Apart. But this is real. This is real. This is what they say it is. Um, you know, they, 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 they are coming to pray and perform other cleansing acts for members of the Okoye family. And this happened uh, the beginning of October until we got this video, until I saw this video yesterday, and it broke my heart. Why that video broke my heart is very simple. We have to be more matured than what is going on. The whites, they brought us Christianity, and they did not destroy, even in their wisdom, they took away those things our ancestors carved. Those things you, my and your ancestors called um, you know, it, it is their chi. Please, if you cannot, if you, you know, if you don't worship those things, you don't need to destroy those things. It is an aberration for us to begin to destroy the works, the craftsmanship of our ancestors. I do not worship them. I do not believe in them. But I can never, I would never, ever destroy them. Why? I'm learned enough, I'm exposed, 
I'm a chief, I'm a high chief in Igbo land from Ezinifita Agoata. I am a red cap chief. I know what I'm saying. I mean, I've acquired enough education to know that, you know, these things are wrong. Now we come, okay, let's, let's, let me drive this point home. If many of you don't understand what I'm saying. We criticize the Muslims. You call the Fulanese, the Hausas, and you say the Boko Harams go to, they go to churches and they bump churches. What we are doing by destroying the Kengas, by destroying the Actifers, by destroying the crafts. Do you know how many man hours it took your ancestors to put those things together? Why would you destroy them? I do not believe they have any powers in the actual sense of it. But why would you? I am only coming from the angle of keeping history and keeping heritage. What is it that we can show to our children tomorrow? Some of, some, you know, so many of you are in the diaspora and they want to visit the motherland. When they visit the motherland, what is it that you're going to show them that they have not seen? Are you going to show them churches that they do not have in any place they are coming from? Are you going to show them houses that they, 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 they are useless houses that don't even have running waters? What is it that you're going to show them? But these are things that you can show them. These are things that will make sense to people to know how their ancestors lived. Rather, what do you do? You destroy them. You burn them. My heart is heavy because... In fact, this is nothing but a scam. Our people must be enlightened on all this issue. Listen, whoever engages in this must be arrested. There is no difference in this than what Boko Haram does. I call this Christian fundamentalist, Christian Boko Harams. That's what you are. Yes, I have no apology. Because... If Boko Haram can go to churches and throw in bombs and hurt people and destroy buildings, there is no other thing that you are doing and you are no better than Boko Haram because that's what you are doing. Religious intolerance. You believe in God, you believe in Christ. So be it. Ask yourself, would Christ destroy the things that he met would he would christ destroy the culture of his own people there were cultures there were artifacts there were things that existed please i go to um, liverpool the um, national museum in liverpool and i want to cry because in there I learn more about my history, more than anyone can teach me in my own home country. I come down to, you know, you, you, you move down in any village, people make no sense. No one knows the history anymore. We've destroyed everything. You see an Iroko tree. Many of you don't know you cannot plant Iroko tree. You see an Iroko tree that's been there for hundreds of years, giving your parents, your forefathers, your formulas, giving them sheds, giving them, you know, protection, giving them, you know, shade so that they can do their trading under the tree. You wake up one day saying that Holy Spirit sent you, I sent you to go and destroy an Iroko or go and burn the Kenga. It is what you have done is an act of ignorance. Based on ignorance, that's why you destroy. You destroying, apart from shouting, yabba, 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 you cannot build anything. You have no skills. You can't even carve. You can't even design. But, I know what we what we call, as in Dichi, what we call, uzo eburichi, I know so many carved doors that people have removed from their father's, you know, imobi, their crime. Oh, that these doors, we are idle doors because they will lose ichi. These are carving 
carved wooden doors. Carved doors, your fathers, my fathers, our ancestors spent hours. If not for anything for my people, please, if not for anything, if not for anything, respect them for the man hours they spent in carving those objects. I will not be an, obje uh, an, an advocate of you worshipping them, but please do not destroy them. If you, you know, you can collect them, write hey, the history behind that. The, there, were, there are oral histories behind that. Just write them down. Attach them to it. Keep them in the museum. Don't worry. Don't bother yourself. Time will come. There will be need for them. Even the if, even the Americans, even the British, that we you know want to emulate in 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 our you know our useless Christian thinking, they have silly histories and they do not destroy them. I'll give you an example. There is what they call death stretcher. They put you, spread your leg, tie you um, like a handcuff in your boot arms, legs, then they begin to wind it, grind it. The thing will be stretching you, stretching a point that your arms will fall off, your legs will fall off. A human being, a breathing human being. And I ask myself, some of you that, you know, keep cursing your ancestors, some of you that keep cursing your dad, your moms, and I say ignorance is getting too much. A man who is cunning you will tell you, oh, these are ancestral causes. Please, there is nothing like that. Because a government could change policy, like now the border is being closed. When a government changes policies, it might affect one or two people. But that doesn't mean that it is the things your fathers did in the village that is hurting you. My father, our ancestors, we are very good people. Whatever they did, they did it in the best interest of ours to protect us. Ignorantly, some of them might be, but doesn't mean that they are evil. I reject that tag. We saw equally another video where one of these, you know, fake people come to do family deliverance, having a carved object on their legs. You know, waiting at the right point to drop them and so that everybody will be shouting that they've ex excavated something. These are scammers. These are fundamentalists trying to destroy the tradition and the way of life of our ancestors. Our ancestors were good people. Someone said, Mazi, if you say our ancestors were good people, why were they killing twins? I said, yo, your ignorance knows no bounds. If you and I, in our exposure today, if we lived 100, 150 years ago, and because we knew no better, we would do the same. Right? It must protect that which keeps a society, the soul of the society, are those things that our ancestors still preserve. We must sometimes think. Think before we make destructions. If you look at the Ikenga being destroyed, that Ikenga is dry. It's dry. It's just mere wood. But we do not need to destroy them. I do not advocate that you worship them, but we do not need to destroy them. For what? In my worldview, whoever destroyed such artifact should be treated as a terrorist because that's what it is. You watch um, ISIS go into uh, Syria, go to some sacred places where they have some cultural items and they destroy them. There is no difference between that ISIS and this pastor that have done this. Because you're basically destroying something that is beyond you. Why? Why? In my community... Many years ago, I think, between 2001 and 2004, what was in vogue then was family deliverance. And so many of them brought, some of them brought out ikoros being used by the Indians and also 
because this Ikoro, I'm six foot two, but some of them are taller than myself. And what did they do ignorantly and stupidly? And they burnt them. And everybody shouted, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, that you are liberated, that you're going to prosper financially and otherwise. In that year, I made a comment that some of you will live to regret this. As I speak to you, many of them have approached me, say, what you, what you said is happening. Because some of them have actually gone down and they've gone, you know, their, their, their life are actually more worse than it was before they destroyed those things. Do not destroy the things you do not know how they come about. Keep them, cherish them, tell the stories behind them. Like the stretcher I told I talked about. Now, many people that learn that study medicine today will still learn about the stretcher. Many people that you know, if you go to museums today, they haven't bought those stretchers. Even in America, that what they call the electric chair is so inhumane. That anyone would be ashamed if that if our ancestors ever did something like that. But yet today they still have those uh, chairs, you know, electric chairs in museums to show how cruel some of them were. But in our own time, in in you know, in our own place, our ancestors were not this cruel. They are a peace-loving people. One or two mistakes, probably. But and so what? Someone's ancestor gassed five million people. Someone's ancestor. And the spirit of those five million people is not hunting them. Just that your ancestor killed chicken, ate the chicken, spilled the blood to you know whatever he spilled the blood to and that's your brain gives you the connotation that that blood of the chicken is why you're not progressing come on i never knew we are this daft i thought we basically be moving on this is retrogression i am really really upset i am really angry because we're not going to stop here i call on the anambra state government the people of Enugu to take legal actions. It's only when we begin to do legal actions and take things seriously that we will stop this level of madness. Because we can't. If we have to condemn Boko Haram for all the atrocities they do under the religious guise, then we must do the same to our brothers and sisters who are so intolerant to diverse religious beliefs and opinion be in your own lane heavenly rays is not going to be judged by the number of ikengas that you burnt it is a disgrace to yourself you are human it's a disgrace to yourself that you are so daft that you burnt what your ancestors spent man hours the last time, I think sometime September last year, I was in, in, in Eke, in Enugu State, Udi. And I saw the Anuma Anuogwe. Square, is it? Anuma Anuogwe. Uh -huh. Square. This is the, um, the Iko. You see, when we talk about how our ancestors actually... Um, Communicated. I call this the ancient telephone because this is, you can see, like a human life, like a full size body. Okay, so full size body. You can see that? That's, I think this is the female, right? And this is the male. This is the male here. We had this too. Now, what is happening here is that um, over time, the Christian fundamentalists, those I call the Christian Boko Harams, have actually invaded this place. You can see here inside is the tried setting fire on it. And I think one there, I think there were two of it. They had these two. So um, I don't know, someone <coughs> stole that. I don't believe it's one of the Christians. But again, this is a village square. And you can see there is a roof here. Okay, this thing is in here and it's been protected. 
This is one of the heritage that we ought to protect as Africans. But it's actually heartbreaking to see that we want to destroy the things we do not understand, the things our forefathers used. You know, when we had when we had Sunny, when we, we are still thinking. This was a means of communication if the whole village need to be, you know, needed to be summoned. This is what they will use. They will use this, it makes some sound, certain sound, certain sound means certain communications, okay? So, it's aged, I think this, we have we call it 100 years, have we? See, it's over 100 years of age. A very big and mighty ikoro that they said that the the born agains have destroyed one and there is you know they have only the the other one and these are the ikoro again he broke my heart and they sad and i said what level of stupidity and what level of madness would lead a man to destroy this beautiful act of you know work of art one do you know the size of the tree that can carve that ikoro we may no longer find them in Ebola and anymore because that must be a very massive tree. As of that time, there were no chainsaws that our forefathers used in cutting down. That means they used man hour, man energy, raw energy to cut down whichever tree they used in cutting, you know, in carving that ikoro. Now, if you, you know, if I move further, then I can say, what is actually the essence of them spending the man hour to do that? That Ikoro served as the only communication channel in the community. Because if they sound the Ikoro in the olden days, even if you are in the night, even if you are in ninth mile, you must hear that Ikoro. And that Ikoro they can use to communicate. Meaning that is the radio of that time, that is the telephone of that time, and that is the telecommunication that they had. But idiots who call themselves Christians just think that their forefathers were cuckoos and you just go there and burn those things. Come on, we can do better. We can do better. I think it's time. The enlightenment is on. It is time we we'll begin to make this change. Let us use this incident of Enugu to show that we do not support this level of stupidity. For me, it remains stupidity, stupidity squared. Stupidity squared. Because I am very, very upset and we cannot allow such to continue to happen. Once more, this is Mazes okay today, Sunday, the uh, 3rd of November. I just want to get this off my chest because, you know, since I've seen that video, I've just said I need to address us as a people and we need to begin to think collectively as a people. Once more, this is my as okay, remain blessed.
Nobody stop them. And this family shall be free. Amen. Nobody can stop them.